Power out while suspended game in GABA 0041 Saint Kilda produced another shocking win as Ross Leon led the Western Bulldogs to 2-0 by 51 points. Following an electrifying three-goal performance from Matej Filippo, the Saints dominated the second half with a nine-goal blitz, advancing to a massive 14.8 to 5.11 victory. Meanwhile, the Bulldogs have some soul-searching to do after falling 0-2 ahead of next Thursday night's showdown against Brisbane. Watch every game of every round of the 2023 Toyota AFL Premiership season live on KO Sports. New to KO? Start your free trial now greater than quarter match report St. Kilda got off to an excellent start in the Saints fans at Marvel Stadium broke out scoring the first two goals via Matej Filippo and then Mitch Owens. The Bulldogs have only touched the ball twice. At the moment it's all in St. Kilda and it's just going forward. Mistakes happen because of the pressure, said Cats Wonder Cameron Ling on Channel 7. Jade Gresham took advantage of sloppy dogs turnover to score three Saints goals in row with cunning. Snap from set shot. It was an early domination, said Alistair Nicholson, who called Channel 7. The dogs made another sloppy turnover at halftime. But Anthony Caminiti couldn't make them pay on the scoreboard. But Jack Steele would seize his opportunity as the Saints captain converted a set shot to open a 24-point lead. Expect unexpected in football. But I was expecting a fierce comeback from the dogs. As we saw with Lions after their low against Port Adelaide last night. St. Kilda scored 24 points. On the first sub. Winning 4.1 to 0.1. What worried me was dogs handling of the ball. Saints big Nick Dal Santo told Fox Footy in. Quarter finals. This is an elite team that is really good on foot and hand. But what we're seeing right now is that dogs are on a leash and they're causing it. Filippo scored his second goal to open the second period and continue the Saints attack. This is pretty important. Talk about building blocks for the future, Nicholson said of Filippo. He walked in and made an instant impression on everyone at Moorabbin. He makes an impression on everyone at Marvel Stadium tonight. The dogs ended their most decisive chain play in middle of second quarter with an Anthony Scott score 50 in. But that was story their night. Set shot hitting post it seemed like nothing was going the dogs way when Jamara Yugel Hagen kicked. A routine set on the field. In 99th minute of the game, Oscar Baker scored Dogs' first goal with five minutes to go. Riley Garcia scored two Dogs in a row as they started to gain momentum. While Aaron Naughton slashed one of the boundary lines and scored three in a row. There's been a real change in the way they run carry together. And they're advancing without stopping racing rather than in the first quarter, said Channel 7. Border racer Dale Thomas. Ling added, they've completely changed the way they play. Tim English scored a goal in half time. Siren. Reducing the Saints win to just 5. 5.4 to 4.5 as both clubs got into an argument before going into rooms Filippo continued his. Brilliant form in the second half with a huge 50 feet from the outside. We're seeing something incredibly special in this young boy, Nicholson said. The dogs responded instantly as key striker transformed the set shot after Marcus Bontempelli found. Aaron Naughton in 50. An important chase by Dan Butler against Liam Jones set Anthony Caminiti's first AFL goal. While Mitch Owens added another one to extend the Saints' win to 22. Zane Cordy scored his second goal to see St. Kilda open the game-high 34-point lead. The Saints are up 32 points in the last change. 11.5 to 5.9. The fourth period was more like an arm wrestling as neither side gained upper hand. With Mitch Owens kicking off the first major of period with eight and a half minutes remaining to open a 40-point Saints lead. There have been six goals in a row for St. Kilda, including seven of the last eight. The Saints do whatever they want with the Western Bulldogs.
To sum it up, the best part of three and a half quarters tonight was the dog's chase story, Thomas said. The gas tickets they used while trying to stay in touch with the Saints are really starting to show up this time. The match will kick off at 1925 AEDT from Marvel Stadium. 3, 2, 1. Philippu's epic Rising Star statement Marcus Ashcroft's win for Rising Star may not be an inevitable outcome. After all, Matisse Filippo scored three electric goals including opening major of the match. With an epic expression of young ball, the Saints' choice 10 fired up his team any time he needed it in a crucial show for a striker line. That was sorely lacking in key personnel. He had an excellent game. He started extremely well and continued at that, said Bulldogs great Brad Johnson at Fox Footy. Calling Channel 7. Alistair Nicholson said that Filippo made an impression on both everyone in St. Kilda and the AFL world in general, adding that, we saw something incredibly special. Meanwhile, St. Kilda great Nick Dal Santo was also full of praise for the young gun. This kid has talent. He's an athlete freak and he's only going to get better, he told Fox Footy. Just little moments like this. First game of the game. A quick snap to say, hey, we can compete with dogs today. Then a similar style snap from about 30 meters further away. Every week he encounters some quality players. But what I love about him is that he understands the game and doesn't hold back. He just takes the game. It's a very nice kick and it was impressive. The DNA of Ross in all of the undefeated Saints this is a side of Saints that looks different under Ross Leon, scoring four goals to zero in first quarter scoring nine of the game's last ten goals, Saint Kilda held control for three and a half quarters in a one-sided affair beating star-studded dogs midfield on contentious properties openings. The dominant win, and making dogs look second-rate, is even more remarkable considering the Saints' extensive injury list competition's biggest however. In compromising effort regardless staff has always been a hallmark of Lyon's sides over past years and has made most what they have. Six goals in the third quarter was a huge reaction, former Bulldogs captain Brad Johnson told Fox. Footy in three quarters. They took their places at halftime. They came out. Statistically, they were actually pretty even. But what they did was the only stat between poles was 17 to 6 in the 50s. And it's a ball movement thing. St. Kilda is going forward. Bulldogs are going sideways and slowly and that's the difference in game right now. The Saints were brave with the ball on offense. Playing constantly. Attacking the lane and often taking risks in a really exciting brand. He's just taking the game compensating as you progress and challenging the opponent. I love that, said Saints great Nick Dal Santo. Meanwhile on defense, Dal Santo noticed Leon's fingerprints were all over Saints as he closed field, forcing dogs to kick them from side, back and down line. This is part of the Ross Leon of years spent in both Saint Kilda and Fremantle, he added. He's asking the forwards to clear that forward line which makes it difficult to move that foot. If dogs want a cross line, they hit field once again and let Saints defend at source and then get support from back of foot. It was really impressive. Free dogs are their biggest enemies the Western Bulldogs were arguably their worst enemy of the night. After a few goals early on, move a more aggressive brand was key to Luke Beveridge's side's return game in second quarter as it looked like it was over top. But the dogs play very timid early in the first quarter, kicking sideways and backwards which has led to several costly turnovers, built faith and faith is a powerful thing in sports. It was slow ball moves. The ones that kept them up. Saints didn't do that to them. Saints great Nick Dal Santo told Fox Footy at halftime. Unfortunately, Dogs had been chasing fairy tales most of the night were down and overwhelmed in third quarter. Seemed to have run out of gas lately. 
In addition to the fact that their slow play and their start in general hurt them, not many dog stars were in shape that night. Jamara Eugle Hagen and Sam Darcy both went goalless, with the latter being sent off in the third quarter. They had to change something because St. Kilda definitely outstripped them. From way they were built, to way dogs at time restricted ball movement, Johnson said of dogs. Again, the dogs will get up and say, okay, we've had a lot of possession, but now the balls they've won have no effect. They took ball mid-court, and at end third quarter it was clear that Bont had picked up ball from middle of court and kicked. Baker from flank instead returning to goals. Right now that's the difference. They're winning ball and they're going to come out with savings. But get absolutely no rewards for work they do because of way move ball. Hopefully for the dogs sake. They've come out of the first jump next week with second quarter intensity and more offensive marks. Watch live on Fox Footy or watch it on KO from 720 AEDT. Relive the Western Bulldogs vs St Kilda match in our live blog below.